Hi, in this video, we are going to understand more about how to create inputs and out outputs in lab view and how to relate it to the front panel and block diagram. So in lab view, input is known as is equivalent to, let me put it, controls, whereas output is equivalent to indicators. So you must have gone through the controls and functions palette on the front front panel and block diagram respectively. So in front panel over the front panel in controls palette, if you hover onto the numeric data type, you will find numeric control and numeric indicator. So if you place this control over here and numeric indicator over here, you will see a difference. The difference is that here we are providing the input, the user is providing the input and in the indicators, some kind of analysis, after the analysis, some kind of value is being generated programmatically, right? As you can see, we have plus minus increment decrement function available over here as well. But here, there is slight difference. We don't have it. The other difference is that it has a white background. It has a gray background, but it is not limited to the color only, right? We can change the color as per our requirements. So. Also, if you go to the block diagram, you'll see a quite a difference from uh, in numeric controls and indicators. One is it has a thick border, then indicator has a very thin border, hollow border. And the other thing is that from the control, the wire, the wire is coming out and into the indicator it is going through. So as you can see that controls are the inputs from where the value comes from, indicators are the outputs where you pass on to your value, right? So these, this is a numeric control indicator. If you go over the Boolean, we have push buttons as controls and round LED or square LED as indicator. Similarly, in string, we have string controls and string indicators, right? Similarly, in array and everything, at any given time, at any moment during your coding you can turn your control into an indicator and vice versa how you have to right click over here and click on change to indicator right if i click on change to indicator now you'll see that it has been converted to indicator let me undo it similarly over here change to control so it will be automatically controlled uh, change to control right so this is all about controls and indicators that is inputs and outputs now let us talk about some kind of constants so as you all aware of we need some hard coded values which are constants to be placed onto our block diagram or in our algorithm development right so in order to create constants right click onto the block diagram firstly constants are available only on the block diagram and not on the front panel so in order to create constants right click onto the block diagram go to functions palette and then numeric here you will see dbl numeric constant as well as numeric constant this is i32 and every rest of the representation this is dbl uh, numeric constant at any given time you can change the representation from dbl to i32 as you are already aware that dbl is orange in color and i32 is blue in color right similarly if you want to have a constant of boolean you have to go to boolean palette and true constant and false constant similarly in strings we have string constant empty string constant space tab line feed end of line carriage return constant so we have different kinds of constant available on block diagram right 